Well, good morning. It is another lovely, it's actually a very cool morning here in Texas. We had a couple of thunderstorms and um, I think another one's actually on the way right now. But um, sitting here looking at my hummingbirds. Um, but I, I wanted to share something that could be some encouragement. <clears throat> I know that a lot of us um, are really weary. <laughs> We're weary travelers on this narrow road and we, a lot of times, being human, want to just give up. I mean, I'm speaking for myself and actually this video um, is really as a reminder to myself too and maybe whoever it needs to help. So I apologize for the view. <laughs> we had a nice sunny day yesterday, so I got the pool out for the, the kids. But anyway, it's been kind of a rough go. I um, just recently lost my dog. My, my dog, he... You know, I wanted to say he was almost 16 years, but I think he was almost 15 years. I can't do the math, but he was born on my birthday in August, and um, he just died Memorial Day, and I have been um, really just mourning him because of just the, the life he traveled with me. You know, he just... That little hummingbird sitting there on the fence. He's so cute. Look at him. He's just, oh, how sweet. <clears throat> so precious. Anyway, I, I won't get into the details. Um, that's a whole testimony in and of itself. But I wanted to share this from Song of Songs. Of course, that's my go-to whenever I need comfort. Sorry, bird. I just scared him away. Um, anyway, you know, I had shared chapter... Um, here's, here's a little flag I got. <laughs> it's my dog. It reminds me of my dog. He's, um, he's up there in heaven. Shotgun rider with Jesus. Or maybe... Maybe somebody who cares for the dogs up there. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just wanted to um, share Song of Songs, really. Chapter 5. So, if, you, if you've if you kind of read through it, I'm not going to do a recap on all of it. Um, oh, there's little Bunny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's all the way over there. I wonder if you could see him. Oh, nope, he just disappeared. But um, here we get to chapter five and the bridegroom king. I'll show you right here. He says, I have gathered from your heart, my equal, my bride. I have gathered from my garden, all my sacred spices, even my myrrh. I have tasted and enjoyed my wine within you. I have tasted with pleasure my pure milk, my honeycomb, which you yield to me. I delight in gathering my sacred spice, all the fruits of my life. I have gathered from within you my paradise garden. Come all my friends, feast upon my bride, you revelers of my palace. Feast on her, my lovers. Drink and drink again until you can take no more. Drink the wine of her love. Take all you desire, you priests. My life within her, her will become your feast. So that alone is basically, this is a person who, um, this, this person he's talking about, doesn't have to be a female, it's the bride. <clears throat> she, she is um, eating of the word and so she becomes a feast herself. She's, so she has things to pour out um, and, and to, to give others of, and it's all stemming from her feasting on the word, you know? So it produced fruit in her life. He is enjoying that. Um, the wine, um, she is now that wine, you know? Um, 
she's she's the honeycomb um you know she's the one who people can count on to give to show the love of christ she is the essence of him because she has spent time with him in his presence so her response what happens is she she had really just been a feast for for people oh my goodness i just saw like four rabbits chasing each other they were so cute oh my goodness i love i love nature as you can tell but let me, let's get back to this um but then after this she says i let my devotion slumber but my heart for him stayed awake do you ever find that like to where you just you don't read the word as much um you you still love him your your heart is still for him but your devotion your time distractions i'm just gonna say that's been me i have been pulled in every direction possible not because of any choice of my own but because life and things that are take precedence and it's just very hard because i i have found myself just missing him and wanting to spend time in his presence and so this is to give you encouragement that you're not alone when you feel pulled in every direction but you really want to spend time with him because the Shulamite bride went through the same thing she says she let I let my devotion slumber but my heart for him stayed awake I had a dream I dreamed of my beloved he was coming to me in the darkness of night the melody of the man I love awakened me I heard his knock at my heart's door and as he pleaded with me so he's he's basically not just he's not just let, leaving well enough alone he's he's coming after her he doesn't ever stop coming after us um, even when you feel like you know man I, I just have not spent time with him I, I feel dry I feel like kind of far and you do, your heart kind of drifts a little bit. And then you start getting, letting the world's thoughts come in. Well, he's, he's pleading with her and he's saying, arise, my love, open your heart, my darling, deeper, deeper still to me. Will you receive me this dark night? There is no one else but you, my friend, my equal. I need you this night to arise and come and be with me. You are my pure, loyal dove. A perfect partner for me my flawless one will you arise he says for my heaviness and tears are more than I can bear I have spent myself for you throughout the dark night now this is a picture of Gethsemane when he was he spent himself he poured out his soul his tears his sweat became blood he he literally he spent that time in suffering love for his bride, for you and for me. And, <coughs> excuse me, it's just a picture of that. And then she, she responds to him. She says, I have already laid aside my own garments for you. How could I take them up again since I've yielded my righteousness to yours? You have cleansed my life and have taken me so far. You ever feel that way? Like, you know, I, I know that I'm, I'm saved. May, you know, maybe some of you don't. Maybe you're still questioning, but you are saved by the blood of Jesus. If you believe you have received, um, if you believe in faith, that he literally paid the price. He paid the bride price for you. Um, this part of this story of, of our life right here in Song of Songs is for those who just kind of get complacent a little bit because of the distractions and the cares of this world and, and things come in and he's just, he's, he does this to each of us. He comes back and he's like, hey, come on, let's go deeper. It's not there, I want you to stop. I want you to go deeper. You're gonna go higher and higher. So 
she says, you have cleansed my life and taken me so far, isn't that enough? My beloved reached into me to unlock my heart. The core of my very being trembled at his touch. How my soul melted when he spoke to me. My spirit arose to open for more of his touch. As I surrendered to him, I began to sense his fragrance, the fragrance of his suffering love. It was the sense of myrrh flowing all throughout me. I opened my soul to my beloved, but suddenly he was gone and my heart was torn out and longing for him. I sought his presence, his fragrance, but I could not find him anywhere. I called out for him, yet he did not answer me. Do you ever feel that, like, do you ever feel that way where you're just like calling out for him and you feel like he's just not answering? He's, where is he? You know, where is our beloved, right? And, and you're, you're calling for him, but do you just stop there? But, or does your soul like long to find him again? You want to find that place with him again. Well, that's where I'm at. I'm like, I'm sharing this because I know that I'm not alone and it's okay. I wanted to show you that you are not alone. You're not alone in the way you're in. It's not too late and it's, it's part of the walk. Okay, because she, she says, I will arise and search for him until I find him. As I walked through the city in search of him, the overseers stopped me as they made their rounds. Listen to this. This, this is, oh, sorry. This is so crucial right here. They beat me and bruised me until I could take no more. These are the religious people. These are the Christians who come at you. Um, judging you, not even knowing who you are and who your heart is for him. They, they just want to judge. They beat you. They bruise you. This is the suffering love that he went through too. You're just suffering with him. They wounded me deeply and removed my covering from me. Nevertheless, make me this promise you brides to be. If you find my beloved one, please tell him I endured all travails for him. I have been pierced through by love and I will not be turned aside. So then the Jerusalem maidens, the brides to be are like, what kind of love is this? You know, um, how could you continue to care so deeply for him? Isn't there another who could steal away your heart? We see now your beauty more beautiful than all the others. What makes your beloved better than any other? What makes you ask us to promise you this? She says, he alone is my beloved. He shines in dazzling splendor yet is still so approachable. <laughs> Without equal as he stands above all the others. Outstanding among 10,000. He is the fairest among 10,000. The way he leads me is divine. His leadership is so pure and dignified as he wears his crown of gold. Upon his crown are letters of black written on a background of glory. He sees everything with pure understanding. How beautiful his insights without distortion. So he already ha he sees he sees everything that you're going through with pure understanding. It's not distorted. So when you go back to him, he's going to reveal these things to you, the, the questions of your heart. His eyes rest upon the fullness of a river of revelation, flowing so clean and pure. Looking at his gentle face, I see such fullness of emotion, like a lovely garden where fragrant spices grow. What a man, no one speaks words so anointed as this one words that both pierce and heal, words like lilies dripping with myrrh. See how his hands hold unlimited power, but he never uses it in anger, for he is always holy, displaying his glory. His innermost place is a work of art so beautiful and bright. How magnificent and noble is this one, covered in majesty. He is steadfast in all he does. His ways are the ways of righteousness based on truth and holiness. None can rival him, but all will be amazed by him. 
Most sweet are his kisses, even his whispers of love. He is delightful in every way and perfect from every viewpoint. If you ask me why I love him so, O oh brides to be, it is because there is none like him to me. Everything about him fills me with holy desire. And now he is my beloved, my friend forever. He is your beloved and he is your friend forever. And he's waiting. He's waiting for you to, to just sit with him and for, so he can pour into you. And I'm going to go do that right now. Just wanted to share this. <clears throat> and um, I pray that this helps you in your weariness to get up and keep going. God bless you.